What's going on guys? So, quick video. What does your ex really want after a breakup? What are the things that they are thinking? What are they doing? What What's going through their mind, right? So, this is going to be a short video. Um, I don't want to have every video be long and drawn out. So, what are, the, what are they looking for? The first thing, they've been thinking about leaving for quite some time. So, anybody who has been surfing all the coaches <laughs> knows this already. This is pretty common knowledge between anybody who's been watching breakup content for a bit. But for anybody who is new, it may it may come to a shock to you that your ex, your ex-wife, your ex-girlfriend of whatever however long has been thinking about leaving for a, a little while. So, usually you're going to catch on far far longer after they've had that first thought, okay? So usually how it goes is they'll have a little inkling like this, right? And then they'll have another one and another one and another one. So what happens is attraction starts to go down when they have these inklings, these, th these thoughts, these negative punches, okay? Now it could be an argument. It could be, it could be something that's going on on a consistent basis that isn't being communicated about. It could be a lack of boundary setting it could be a lack of masculinity right if you're a, if you're a man watching this because i deal with mostly men right it could be whatever the only thing that matters is they're looking at you in a negative light okay so imagine if this is the idea and then what you want is you want these to happen in a relationship more often so this is the positive light right so dates you know indoor olympics <laughs> Fun stuff, right? So this is gonna drive up their, their per your perceived value and this is gonna drive down their perceived value of you. So the more that you act out of pocket or, or in any kind of way seem negative in their eyes, they are going to, it's kind of like they take note but not consciously. And that's why when a breakup happens, you he uh, uh, you'll hear from the person, I wasn't really digging them anymore. I don't know what's really going on. I just wasn't feeling it anymore, right? Because this wasn't happening enough, right? Now, attraction, so it lead, this leads me perfectly into step number two, or tip number two. The only thing that matters is, is their attraction level to you. So love, I learned this from Chris Canwell. Love and attraction are kind of like, kind of like a ball and chain in a way. If attraction falls, Okay, say this is attraction. Love is going right with it. So a lot of people have this idea that love is this, you know, holier than thou thing. But in a in a relationship between a man and a woman, attraction what keeps is what keeps a relationship together long term. Okay? And this doesn't just mean physical. A lot of people have the idea that attraction just means a physical thing. No. They have to look at again, it's your energy. It's everything that encapsulates you right so emotional mental physical spiritual whatever you want to call it has to be you know going up for the most part now everyone nobody's perfect you're going to have arguments you're going to have fights you're going to have things that happen cool whatever but as long as they view you in a positive manner your relationship will stay together if they keep viewing you consistently it's all about consistency right if they consistently view you in a negative way over time they're going to they're going to break up with you. Everyone wants to be with somebody who's valuable. And when you do things that are extraordinary, right? When you do things that are not normal, right? Um, for example, there are guys out there that are extremely insecure, that are extremely complacent and really lazy guys, right? And they're not, they don't have their shit together. This is most, like not most, a, a lot of guys out there don't have their shit together. They just accept life, right? They don't have an intentional life where they want to create the best life possible. They just accept their life, right? Most guys I speak to over the phone, they have an idea of what they want their life to be, right? And then they don't, they just accept that they have to work 50 hours a week. They accept that life, okay? Okay. And, I, and then they'll make excuses and justify why they accepted that life. Business just isn't for me or whatever they want to say, right? So 
when I speak to guys, I say, do you not want more time to yourself while making money? Or do you not want more time to yourself to travel? Do you want more time to yourself to do whatever? They'll say, they all, they, and I don't think I've heard a single person say no, right? So that is the idea of living your life as an individual man as best as you can be. And this leads me to the six pillars, okay? So these are the six pillars of excellence, okay? Health, wealth, skills, mindset, social circle, and relationships. And this is the attractive and repulsive energy matrix. <laughs> but guys that have purpose, that have drive, that have motivation, that are trying as hard as they can every day to bring in uh, abundance to their lives are cultivating attractive energy. Okay. This kind of energy right here. So repulsive energy are these guys that are controlling, manipulative, can't set boundaries, too nice, AKA too predictable, right? No purpose, right? So whenever people are attracted to you, they want to get closer to you, okay? It's kind of obvious, right? Attraction, close. And then whenever somebody is cultivating too much repulsive energy, they want to get distance from you. That's why they're breaking up with you, okay? So that's why the only thing that matters is attraction. Remember, if they're attracted to you, they want to be closer to you. And fellas, any guys who are watching this, because I know my, my you know, biggest core audience is men, Remember what it was like when she was the most attracted to you? She was blowing up your phone. She was messaging you, you know, I guess blowing up the phone, messaging you nonstop to the same thing, <laughs> calling you, checking on you, uh, thinking of you all the time. Now it's silence, right? So, the th and the third tip is they want space. So, and I'll tell you what to do at the end of this video, but. They want space to be away from the thing they're con they are convinced they no longer like. So, again, repulsive energy. Okay? When they see you in that light and you're giving off repulsive energy. And I'm, I'm telling you now, 95% of the guys I've spoken to are giving off too much repulsive energy in some way, shape, or form. And that's why that consistent thing. Like, they could be thinking about you know, breaking up with you for a year because there's something about you that you're not doing and she doesn't want to teach you how to be a man. She doesn't, no woman wants to teach a, a, a partner how to be a, a man. No man, no woman wants, that's a child, right? Women want to be with partners. And then when I talk to these guys, I ask them, how's your life going? What are you doing, right? And most of these guys are, um, I'm not really doing a whole lot. You know, I just, again, living an accepted life. You can even hear it in their voice and I can prove it to you. So this is the vibration chart of truth and justice. These guys, when I talk to them over the phone and here's the thing, I have coached guys and brought them from down here to up here. Okay. And you can hear it in their voice. You can hear the difference that they have going on inside. It makes me, gives me goosebumps because the transition that they've had from garbage orange energy to, to blue purple energy is amazing. You can hear it in them. They, when I ask them about how they're going, they're like, bro, I'm having, I'm doing great. Like, and they're just, they're sitting, they're sitting in this, this big pocket of good energy, good vibrations up here. So the, the, the tip, the, the last tip I want to give you, I didn't even write this down. You want to aim to be um, in the courageous energy. Okay. Courage is where you need to go. So going up through these emotions, okay, you're going to start at fear, guilt. A lot of guys feel guilty, full of shame because you let the relationship fall apart. Or maybe you did something that's shameful apathetic, right? Apathetic, sorry. Um, and just look at the emotions associated with it. I lose. I lost her, right? You feel defeated, just surviving, hopeless, okay? Again, most of these guys I'm speaking to are, you can hear it in their voice. I'm just surviving, right? So they're totally defeated. They're totally zombified. 
okay? And then getting these guys to go up is my main mission, and that's what I have. I have a program called the Better Man Project. So in order to, um, I guess these are my announcements. So first of all, I got the free Discord, okay? The free Discord, you guys can join it. It's in the description box down below. Say hi. Nobody's judging you. I'm there sometimes to answer some questions and be there. Um, but this is where I am most of the time is here in the Better Man Project Mentorship Program where we talk about relationships, cash. These things are what we, we basically we work on your six pillars. Okay. So if you have, if you want to ask questions about it, shoot me an email, an Instagram DM, how to reach me is all in the description box down below. Email is usually the easiest with the big, you know, subject line being mentorship. And most of you guys want to know how much it costs and stuff like that. So that's completely fine. I have payment plans and stuff like that in place. Now the book is out. The books are out. Okay. So if you guys want to check them out, they're very beginner, very introductory, not complicated at all. So better. So the masculine way handling breakups with the big red hearts, everything will be in the description box down below for both of these. So you guys can pick these up. Okay. This one's called chasing excellence talks about facing fears, etc. Everything's in the pinned comments and description box for those. So again, this is what we work on. But if you guys want to do this on your own, I don't care. No problem. It's up to you. First things first, download or, or take a screenshot of this. All you got to do is Google Hawkins Scale of Consciousness. That's actually in my dis free Discord underneath uh, one of the sections. I can't remember where, but it's in there. Okay. And you guys can just download it from there. And I have all these other ones too. Okay. And you guys can learn so much for this video being quick, by the way, but you can learn all about these emotions and, and in the better man project, my goal is to get you to go this way, right? And we focus on all of these emotions and, and, and work through them. And basically it's all about facing them, facing them straight up. Okay. So as you can see, apathy, grief, fear, lust, anger, and pride on the left, and then courage, courageousness, acceptance, and peace. These are the emotions that you will feel. All right. So, um, that's the idea. And those are the tips and why she thinks that way. And if you guys are interested and you guys want to go from, you know, even if you, I know a lot of you guys have been watching these and no one even really care about getting your ex back. You're just like, look, I just want to level up, right? I just want to level up. What do I do to level up? What do, how can I make, start making some cash? How can I start? How can I learn more about attraction? So my next relationship doesn't fall apart. That is one guarantee. I will tell you if you guys learn this stuff right in the program, in my program, you'll learn it way faster. But if you read all the books that I've been speaking about in my past videos and stuff, and, and you, and you learn how to do all that, you're going to, the chances of you going through this again are so low because you're going to know exactly what your woman's thinking at most at almost all the time because of the way that she's 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 a mirror of you. If you're doing really well in the relationship, again, she's going to be all over you because again of all this attractive energy you're exuding. And then when she's distant from you, when she's wants to be away from you, when she's talking shit about you, maybe she might throw a barb at you. Again, you shouldn't put up with that kind of behavior because attractive men and women will stand up to that kind of behavior because they know that they're worth more than that. Okay. So again, we guys have to focus up. So if you guys want to join, just let me know. Um, uh, my email is in the description box. It's just masculine energy 27 at gmail.com. You can also message me on Instagram and, um, it, or if you want to do a coaching call, that's down there in the description box as well. I'll see you guys in the next video. Those are the tips. So keep it pushing. Done.